All right, kicking off the series, let's go ahead and uh, let's download Open Foam. Uh, so how we're going to do this is we're going to first uh, go to turn Windows features on or off because what we need here is uh, we need to get a Linux system uh, within our Windows system so that we can actually use Linux software because um, Open Foam is only available for Linux. So I, I'm going to presume that the majority of people are using either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Um, I'm using Windows 10 right now, I believe. So what we, what I need to do is I need to get a sort of a Linux-based uh, OS on my computer so I can use the Open Foam software. Um, so how you do that is go to these this Windows features, uh, turn Windows features on or off, scroll down right to the bottom, and you'll see something called a Windows subsystem for Linux. I'm just going to go ahead and click that and click OK. Now this is going to go ahead and prompt me to restart my computer, so I'll get I'll go ahead and uh, do that, and I'll show you what we need to do uh, once I come back. So I'll just wait here. You should see this asking me to restart now in a second, and it's asked me to restart. So I'll go ahead and restart this now, and um, I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. All right, so I've just restarted my PC, uh, and what you'll see now, what you should see now, is you should see when you click File Explorer. Uh, that you have this new Linux system here with a little penguin there. So this is your Win Windows sort of subsystem for Linux, uh, literally. Uh, so you can run Linux operations here. And you should have as well, you should have Ubuntu already downloaded. Um, and this is going to be the terminal that we're going to use uh, to then download OpenFoam and use OpenFoam um, and use other Linux programs. So uh, you can go ahead and type Ubuntu into the uh, terminal and then press enter. It should prompt you to create a username um, and a password. Now I think mine is coming up already uh, to do this because it's giving me my old username, which is fine. Um, so I, I'm obviously not gonna redo that. Uh, another thing, if Ubuntu is not popping up for you there or you want to use a different version of Ubuntu, uh, then you can download that from the uh, Microsoft Store. Here's the latest one for me now as of the 1st of April 2024. Um, if I type in Ubuntu, uh, the biggest number that comes up here is the twenty, uh, the April twenty fourth, uh, April two thousand twenty four version here. So I could click get and then same thing, create a username and password, and uh, that would just pop up for me down there as uh, Ubuntu twenty four oh four, um, down the bottom left of my screen. For now, I'm just going to use this standard version uh, version of Ubuntu here. Should work fine. Should be no issues. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, if you just look up then install OpenFoam on Google and go to the website uh, and you go to download and go to current release, it will give you the latest version here. And now you're going to be installing this uh, as if you were on a Ubuntu Linux uh, machine because we technically are with our uh, subsystem here. And uh, this will give you direct instructions to, to download OpenFoam. Um, since this version has only been released last month, I think there's some mistakes here. Uh, it's directing me to the 2312 page. So I'm just going to go ahead and download uh, the version 2312, uh, which should be perfectly fine. The version of OpenFoam you, you download doesn't really matter unless you're using, let's say, uh, somebody else's solver um, or you're sharing code between people you ideally would have the same version. So if you're in a university and everyone uses uh, OpenFoam version eight, and you know somebody might have a solver compiled for version eight that you want to use, or you know you find a solver you want to use that was compiled for version eight, I would stick with version eight if that makes sense. But uh, I, I have no uh, prerequisites here for what software I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and download 2312. So first command is just add the repository. So I'm just literally going to copy that here, highlight it and control C. And then when I go to Ubuntu, uh, pasting here is a little bit different in the Linux system. Um, it's either control shift V or you can press the right uh, click on your uh, on your on your mouse and that and that pastes it and enters as well. So I press that. I don't know whether it's asked me for my password or not because I got kind of a mistake there. So I'm gonna enter my password. Uh, you enter the same password that you created um for when you were creating your username and password there a minute ago. So I enter my password, it looks like it's running here to add this repository, uh, still running there. And once that's done, I'm gonna add the repository information by literally just pasting in uh, the, the information here. And, and this is pretty much it for, for OpenFoam. So the repository set up, uh, I can now install packages. So now I'm just going to update this repository information. Again, 
I, I'm not an expert with Linux, and um, so I'm just doing the best I can here. If you're a, as well c coming from a different software, such as Star CCM or Ansys, um, you might not understand this, but that, that's okay. You will get used to it with time. We're gonna install the OpenFoam 2312 package. So this is when we're telling it what version we want uh, and what type we want. We're gonna click yes. We don't care how much this space is used uh, for our case. And then after that, this is gonna install here. And after that, I'm gonna show you what we need to do. Uh, you can either run OpenFoam in a shell session where you execute the program uh, within the terminal and exit the program, or you can add it to your bash or C file so that OpenFoam is always activated. I'm gonna add it to the bash or C file. So once this is done with downloading, I'm gonna show you what the last thing you need to do uh, to actually activate the OpenFoam software is. And we're gonna run a quick test case then as well to make sure our software is running okay. Right, so it looks like OpenFoam is done downloading for me here. And I've got uh, a few outputs here uh, to tell me how to set up OpenFoam. Uh, this is the shell session that I talked about. Um, so if you want to run open from the set, uh, from the from a shell session, if you know what that is, uh, you can do that by just typing into the terminal open foam two three one two or whatever version you were using. Press enter, and it'll enter this shell session that you can use to run open foam tutorials on. Um, I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to run things uh, from the bash or C. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that now. So this is the the shell session here. You'll see it's sort of setting up this environment for me to to run open foam in. Um, and uh, if you want to, you could run things from here. To get out of that, I'm just gonna press exit. And I'm instead going to take the source of OpenFoam. So it's gonna tell you here on your specific system um, what is the source from the bash or C file. And it's this line here. So I'm gonna highlight this and then press Control, Shift and C on my keyboard to copy this directory. So Control, Shift and C. So that should be copied for me now. And then what I'm gonna press, uh, then what I'm gonna type into um, the terminal is I'm going to press nano. This is gonna open up a text editor for me. Then I'm gonna press the tilde key, backslash, dash, bash, or C. And this is gonna open up my uh, bash or C file. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll right down to the bottom. So I'm pressing the arrow key to do this, that's important is that you're pressing the arrow key on uh, your keyboard. So the four little arrows down the bottom right of your keyboard. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna press uh, Control, Shift and V to paste that. Or also I can uh, right click on my mouse as well. So that should paste uh, what I've just copied in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now save this file. And to do that, I'm gonna press Control, O to write out the file. So Control, O and then enter, okay? And then control um, X. All right, so just one more time what I've done. I press, uh, I went up here to what was outputted from my file and I look for what's called source. Source from bash or C file is this dot user lib open foam da 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 da. That'll be different depending on your version. I press control shift C all at the same time. That'll copy that for me. Then I'm gonna do nano tilde backslash dot bash or C. It opens up my bash or C file and scroll down now with my arrow key all the way down to the bottom. And I paste what I just had. Uh, you can right click your, uh, the right click on your mouse button or you can control V or control U. I think sometimes it's telling me that control U might be paste uh, on, the, on this machine. So uh, that's not working for me. So I, I right click on my mouse. Once you've done that, uh, you can press control O and then uh, to save it and then control X to exit. And that should edit my bash or C. So what this means for me now is every time I enter Ubuntu, uh, open foam will be ready to go and I don't have to do anything else. I can just go to a particular folder and run open foam and uh, the software will always be ready to go. So now let's check if everything is okay here. And how I'm gonna do that is, um, first of all, I'm just gonna show you uh, where open foam is downloaded. It's downloaded to what I've just put in my bash or C file there. So if I go to Ubuntu, I go to uh, user, lib, open foam, and this is for my case, it will tell you where open foam is downloaded when you're uh, in the terminal here, once you've downloaded it from just here. And we're gonna go to open foam from here. So where is open foam? Right here. 
and we just downloaded open form 2312. So I'm going to click this and here's all the files that I need. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tutorial cases and I'm going to now bring it to my actual hard drive uh, because I want to work from there. I don't want to be editing the files that I've just copied from um, the, the open form GitHub. So I'm just going to go to tutorials. Let's go to uh, incompressible. Uh, let's copy this cavity foam tutorial. So I go foam uh, cavity and then let's copy this second cavity file. So I'm going to press control C on my keyboard and now I'm just going to bring this to the hard drive that I want to use. Uh, you could bring it into your users, into the user that you want. And uh, I'm just going to create a new folder here that I'm going to run all, all my open foam simulations from. And this is just because I'm running this based on my C drive. You can put it wherever you want. Um, so open foam, let's just make, stick with the right notation here. Open foam, and I'm going to paste my cavity uh, in there. Now uh, I need to find where this folder is on uh, in my Linux terminal. And where this is, is if I press CD and backslash, that'll bring me to the, the uppermost level of uh, my Linux subsystem, which is here. I can see here all the all the files that are that are here. And uh, I'm going to change my directory again to get to my uh, D folder. So how you do that is you do CD for change directory, MNT. You can press tab to uh, start filling in the line that you're already typing. MNT backslash D backslash and the folder I had was called open foam. This will be case sensitive. So if I type in a lowercase O and then press tab, nothing will happen. If I do capital O like I did in my file there um, and press tab, it will autofill the rest for me. And now I'm in the directory that I want. This is exactly where I am in my Linux directory now. I'm in D open foam. So I have one more directory to go down and um, I can do CD and then press cavity. And now I'm in the directory. I'm in the tutorial case that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and check that, uh, that everything works here. And in the next tutorials, I'll talk about these uh, different Linux commands that we're going to be using uh, while using open foam. So I've copied my cavity tutorial in here. I'm going to press LS here just to see what files are in here. Zero constant and system. That's all that should be here. I need to run three commands to uh, to make sure that this tutorial works. Works block mesh. That's just going to mesh the domain for me. So this is working. Meshing is working. And icofoam is just going to make sure that it's just going to run the simulation for me. So that ran for me and uh, openfoam is working fine. Right. So in the next few videos, I'm going to talk about uh, all these different tutorial cases. Uh, I'm going to do an airfoil tutorial. And uh, if you leave me a comment below, um, I will do your tutorial um, if I you know, get a, fly, a likes on the comment and, and, and I have enough time to get that tutorial done. All right. Thanks for watching.